Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the piston for the handpiece. I'm going to use a bolt. The bolt has a .372 diameter. Now the hole in the handpiece barrel is .348. So we're going to take we're going to cut the head off and the threads off of that bolt. And we're going to stick this up in the chuck. I'm going to lock it down. I'm going to move my table out of the way. Get a file. Turn the drill press on. The table over here will give me a place to rest my hand and start filing on that bolt. And file on it until it's down to point three four eight. Now that might take a while because you got twenty thousands to take off this particular bolt. So I tried to find the bolt that came the closest to the point three four eight and that was it. So when you get it down to that diameter and you clean it up, you can get close and you can get in there with some sandpaper. Finish up the, the diameter with sandpaper. Nice and smooth. You want to pull it out of the chuck. And cut it off. Now you can cut these off at you know, I try to stay, I'll start around, this is 0.565. That's where I'll start. I may make them shorter, may make it longer. And there's the cutoff, kind of rough. Bring my table back around here. I'm going to check up on the, uh, the piston. A file up here. And face off. The piston. Time I got my file turned around, so it's it's getting with the program here. It's pulling the material off fast like that. Let's take a look and see what we got. Faced it off, looks like it came off a lathe. So, what you can do from here is I'm going to stick it back in the chuck. Leave about half of it hanging out. Tighten her down. Lower my table just a little bit. And I'm going to do the same deal with this as I did. Lower this down in here. I'll lock my quill down so it stays there. And I'm going to tighten, tighten this up in the center of the uh, center of the vise. I'm going to C-clamp the vise down to the table. Make sure your table's locked down. Clamp the vise in place. I'm going to 
unlock the quill and I actually need to lower it. So if I got myself into this situation, I'll just leave it on there and lower lower it so I can get a drill bit in there. And it's still staying where it's supposed to be, but now I can get a drill bit under it. I'm gonna lock my table back down. And so now the uh piston is on center in the vise. So I'm going to lock it back down and I'm going to undo my chuck. I'm going to let it come up. That's right on center. I take center drill. and drill it. pretty well on center it held pretty uh, it held pretty good there it might be off slightly but it's really close now I can use a drill bit that's under the uh, 0.348 I'm gonna use a drop my table down I didn't leave myself enough room to get my drill in I had to drop the table down now we're we're out again so here's how you get it back if that happens to you you didn't leave yourself enough room put the center drill back in it now that we've got it where we want it we've got enough room to get the uh, the 5 16 drill in there. I'm going to lower and bring the drill press down so we're back in that hole. I locked my table down. Alright, now we're back in center. Unfortunately, I had to drop it down. I'm going to take a 5 16 drill that mics out at 312.312 and I'm going to put that little pocket in the back of this piston. There, we'll take a look at it. And there's the beginning of a piston with a 312 pocket thin wall. You can see right there, it's a little off center, but it's still going to do the job. That's what the uh, spring is going to fit down in, and this also gives you the weight of the piston so if it's still too heavy 
stick it in here let's get it to where you can see what I'm doing here if I need to go deeper I'm gonna put it back back on my drill bit run it down into my vise Right there where you can't see, run it down into the vise. And now I'm ready to drill a little bit more out. nice little pocket in here now I'm gonna pull the drill bit back out and I'm gonna work on the face of the piston that I squared up on the uh, file stick this back up in here there you go, you can kind of see, at least you can see what I'm working on. tip over until I've got it rounded or in a shallow V. That ought to work right there. It looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the bench and we're going to assemble this hand piece. I'm going to use the uh, jam nut and the handle off another hand piece and I'm going to stick this piston in here and see how it runs. So let's let's move to the bench. Okay, we're on the bench. Now what I want to do is borrow some parts out of a hand piece. I'm at the handle, the nut, Get a uh, graver and a quick change tool holder. There's my piston and a spring. Okay, let's assemble this dude. Down she goes. The nut on it. Put the handle on it. And we'll see how it runs right out of the gate without doing anything else. I'll set it right here. My quick change tool in there. up my graver, hook up the hand piece to the to the clear tubing. Now let's see what it'll do. If it'll do anything. Alright. And let's see what it'll do. Now this is the first time it's been run here so with this piston. So let's see if how it's gonna act. Well we're darn. Let's 
see what's a little here. Back it out one full turn. See what it does. It should give it a little more kick. deeper cut a little deeper you can see the lines George, it's working. So, just wanted to show you that the hand piece works before we go any farther making the jam nut. And the handle for it. So you can make that piston on a drill press. And I got it hollowed out here. Let's see what the weight is. Turn it on and we'll set it to grams. And it's set to grams. Now let's see how much this piston that I just made out of mild steel weighs. It weighs 3.9 grams. So by doing it this way and hollowing out the, the back end of the piston, you can pretty much make this any weight you want. You know, you can have from, you know, six seven grams on down to two grams or less than two grams depending on how you make these and what you prefer so i would say the more you have the better off you're going to be because that way you can play with a multitude of different pistons and speed controls on your uh, compressor and get this thing running just the way you want it to run in this part of the video I'm just going to go over making these springs. Now I've gone up to Harbor Freight as usual and picked up a spring assortment. And the springs I like the best for making these is this spring right here. Is the the pull type spring. They're thinner, they're a little bit thinner than these other springs are. This, the compression type spring, the, the diameter of the wires are larger so these work pretty good and all you got to do is take them and stretch them out a little bit. Oh and now they're the perfect little spring for these things. And you just cut it off to the length you need. So you can try it, pulling it apart at different ones. This will probably work better than this one, so I'm going to cut it off. Cut this one to size here. And the 
this is about the size we were using the last time so I'll cut it yeah, right in there somewhere and I got two springs and I just pulled them apart at different lengths so the diameter of this uh, cup that I put in the back of the piston is 312 so these springs will slide right down on the inside of them put that back in the hand piece we're going to try this again fitting in it. Drag my ball vise back over here. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh yeah. Looks like a champ. So that's all I have for this video. I wanted to show you how to make the uh, the piston and then select a spring and And the rest is just playing with it. I mean, just try trying different things. That's not a bad spring at all right there. I like that one. It's better. It came out better than this one. It's a little squishier, a little mushier. And the handpiece seemed to run just a little bit better with that uh, with this spring in it. So. Well, there it is. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a good day.